Hello and welcome to part 3 of my complete beginner's guide to using your Nexus 7 Android tablet. If you haven't watched part 2 of this series yet, please watch that video first as each part of the guide follows directly on from the previous video. To recap video 2, we went to the applications drawer and placed an app on one of our home screens. We then looked at how we could move this app around the home screen or remove it. We did exactly the same thing with the widget, placing one on the home screen, before having a quick look at the settings screen. And finally, we put the tablet to sleep. Now on to part 3 of the beginner's guide. Now that you've locked your tablet, you will need to unlock it, and that's where this video will start. You can change the security level of your lock screen too, and this will be the focus of the second part of the video. Point 3 will give you your first glimpse of using an app, and some of the common touchscreen controls you can use with an app and many other applications. And finally, we'll look at how we can return to the base of the tablet, which is the home screen. So, first things first, your tablet is now locked. To unlock it, all you need to do is press the power button again, just like you did when you locked the tablet. The lock screen will then appear, and all you need to do is press and slide the lock to the edge of a circle to access your tablet again. This effectively unlocks the tablet. Now, at the moment, this is the most basic of lock screens and provides no security to your device. So let's change that by adding a pattern lock to the lock screen. We need to access the settings screen here, and because we are likely to use it a lot more in the future, let's put this settings button on the home screen. Press the application draw button, that's the middle button in your dock, then press and hold the settings button until the black background turns into your home screen. Then let go of the app to place it on the home screen, like this. Now tap the setting button to access it. The option you want on this screen is security. You may have to scroll down the screen a little bit, but it should be there. Once you find it, tap on it and you'll go to another screen. On here, you want the top option, which is screen lock. And if you tap on that, you then have the choice of a few options. In this demonstration, we are going to choose pattern lock. To set up a pattern lock, you need to draw a line that joins dots together on a 3x3 dot grid. It can have a few dots or all the dots, it's up to you. Once you've drawn your pattern once, you will need to press the continue button in the bottom right. Then draw out the same pattern again to confirm the pattern lock. Now you have set up a pattern lock, so let's test this by pressing the power button to lock your tablet and then press the power button again, and there is your pattern lock. There are alternative security locks to choose from if you're not happy with pattern lock. You can use a password, pin code, or something called face lock, where the tablet actually takes a picture of your face. Have a play around with the settings and see which option you prefer. It's been a long time in coming, but let's now use your first application. On the home screen, in the bottom left of the dock, is a folder. Tap on it and it will reveal loads of applications. Press on the one with a map icon and this will launch Google Maps. Before we do anything else, let's change the screen orientation of your tablet. Simply pick it up and tilt it from portrait to landscape mode and this will adjust the screen accordingly. Google Maps is all about exploring, so use a single finger to press on the screen and move the map around. The map will glide around the screen at the same speed as your finger. Next, practice the pinching gesture. If you pinch your fingers together, you will zoom the map outwards. If you pinch your fingers away from each other, the map will zoom in. If you use two fingers and rotate them, this will rotate the map. And if you do a quick double tap, the map will centre on where you're tapping and zoom in. There are plenty more gesture controls, but we'll look at these in a later video as we use more applications. Of course, every application will be different, but a common thing you will find in many apps are these three dots, usually in the top right-hand corner of the screen. 
This is the settings button for the application, so press it and find out what you can do with your app. There will of course be other options too, like here for example, I'm changing the view mode to satellite so I can see where in the world I'm looking. So have some fun and explore this application for a while. You can't break anything, so don't worry about it. However, if you do get lost while using your tablet, or you simply want to back out of everything and start again, then press this middle button right at the very bottom of the screen. This is your home button, and it will take you back to your home screen, no matter where you are with a single tap. You will also notice that because you tilted your screen, the home screen dock is now at the side because your tablet is in landscape mode. Simply tilt the screen again to change the orientation of your home screen. Five minutes, five points, practice what you have learned. Thanks for watching this video. Check out part four to carry on where this video has finished. And if you think someone you know might find this video useful, please share it with them. See you again soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.